Hi, I'm Shanna Good. Um, and I'm Nick Good. And we have been going to EUM Church off and on for probably 10 years. I felt the calling to be baptized for many, many years, but I never felt worthy enough. I'd always hear it in the back of my mind, but I thought, oh God, like you do not want me to publicly um, pronounce that I'm a Christian because I am a sinner. I thought being baptized, um, you had to be completely pure, um, innocent, um, never done a wrong thing in your life. And I was more of about being private um, and doing it behind closed doors. But as I read scripture, that's not what it's supposed to be at all. And so I was at a third day concert actually last month. It laid really, really heavy on my heart. And it, it felt like I was gonna be disobedient if I said no. My good friend Janie was there at the concert. And I knew if I texted her at that moment that there was no backing down. And I said, is it too late to get baptized on Easter? I could see her texting back and she said, not at all, be there on Sunday. Um, and I came home, actually home from the concert and I was so, so excited. And I remember telling Nick, I said, I'm getting baptized on Easter Sunday. When she said that she was gonna do this, I was obviously jubilant <laughs> um, because it's something that we've discussed for years. And I knew that she, she felt unworthy, but God knows and knew that she was worthy. God had to lead her to completely. She had to know that God was doing it. So when she came home and told me it was pure celebration within my heart, I just know that God has done great work in her and, and um, the spirit has really got at her to where she can finally pro proclaim victory. I had had this idea for the baptisms during Easter. Shortly after that, I had heard, Oh, come to the altar. And I thought, what a perfect song for baptism for just the, the last verse of it. The barrier cross as you wait for the crown tell the world of the joy that you found. As she decided to do the baptism, I just kept thinking that over and over for her, knowing how unworthy she's felt for years. The day that I got baptized was this excitement that I probably have never and before in my life have felt. I, I could not get the smile off my face. And I remember not seeing anybody in the audience because the typical Shanna gets stage fright. But the Shanna that day um, felt the Lord holding her hand. Going up the steps, all I kept hearing is, I'm with you, I'm with you. It is so true, you, you, you get dipped and when you're coming up, you're new, you're born again. Um, and at that point, um, I felt like it was branded on me that I'm a Jesus lover. Seeing it come full circle, it was seeing the, the feelings for her of unworthiness finally, like her understanding that she is worthy and that it doesn't matter who tells her that she's unworthy, whether that be someone else or whether that be the enemy or whether that be her inner self because of her past, that she knows that she is worthy and she's received that from God directly. Just the transformation within her and the confidence for her to know that she is worthy is indescribable. You are so loved, you are so worthy um, by what Jesus has done for us. And I think that's the part that uh, I, I missed all these years, was that you will never be worthy enough, but you are because of what he did for us. You know, every time that we sin, or every time that, uh, you know, we might get off the path a little, um, that unconditional love that he gives us, man, and the grace, I, I, it's just, uh, I don't know. It just drops me to my knees. Since I've been baptized, I've realized that worthiness is not something that is earned. It's something that is received.